Welcome back to our second MAC lipstick video. You remember my sister, Claire Angela, and of course, me, Melanie. So today we're gonna try on lipsticks from the new MAC Matte Lipstick Collection, and these are permanent lipsticks, and you'll see how they look like on NC and NW45 skin tones. So the first lipstick we're gonna try on is called Whirl, and I believe on the website this is described as a muted rosy brown. And just, I'm sure many of you know, this lipstick is a lipstick version of the very, very popular lip liner of Whirl. So here we are, both wearing Whirl. I really, really like it. I like it what too. Do you, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks really good. I actually picked this liner up a couple months ago and I haven't really had a chance to wear it and I'm really enjoying the lipstick uh, version of it. I think it looks really similar to the liner. It's a nice Ooh. neutral for sure. Yeah. Now we both have our liners on. I'm wearing one of my favorites, which is cork, and my sister is wearing... Chestnut. Chestnut, which is another favorite of mine. It's pretty much a staple in my lipstick collection. This was my first MAC lip liner, actually, Chestnut, 20 years ago in 1995. <laughs> and I bought it in 1994. I used to wear it with Max Photo and Max Sis. So 21 years ago, we have a strong bond. Yeah. So the next shade that we've tried on is Persistence. And this color, I'd say, is like a mixture between uh, Mocha and Pander Me, which was limited edition. Uh, came out last year. Anyway, I really like this shade. I think it looks really good. So what do you think? I like it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty. It's more. Yeah, it's a bit more like peachy, a bit more orangey than the last one. Yeah. I prefer the last one. Whirl, right? Yeah, that was. Um, yeah, but this one is nice as well. So here's plain without any lip liner. So on to the next. The next shade that we're wearing is called Stone, and I would say this is sort of a taupe with a grayish, almost purpley undertone to it. It's very neutral and very cool, but I really like it. It's very different. It is very think? cool. Yeah, no, it is very cool. A um, little ashy looking, I think. I'm not really a fan of it, at least not like this. Um, yeah, it's a little ashy for me, but it might look good on you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it'll take me some working with it and definitely a liner. And maybe even a gloss, I would say I'd probably wear this like more in the fall than in the summer. Yeah, right. But um, it's still a really interesting color. And I actually, again, discovered the liner, I think like three weeks ago or something. And I thought, oh my god, this is so cool. So I had to try the lipstick. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here it is with liner. And this time we're both wearing chestnut. I think it looks a bit better than from what it looks like before. But still, I'm, I'm not really sold on it. But... I know, I definitely think this one looks better with chestnut. I didn't go with cork because I think it's a bit lighter and also this color is really cool. So chestnut's a good choice. I think it looks really good on you. I think you're just not used to seeing yourself yeah, in these sorts of, uh, sorts of shades. But I really like it. Again, for fall, it's perfect. And also for those of you who were able to get styled in sepia last year, I think this color is similar, although a touch more gray. But I, I really like it. Again, with the liner, it, I think it takes it up to the next level for sure. So the next lipstick that we're wearing today is called Men Love Mystery, and as you can see, this is a pretty purple shade. And I would say for those of you who are familiar with Up The Amp, which we swatched in our last video, this lipstick is pretty much a matte version of that. It's just a gorgeous shade. I really, really like it. Yeah. I, I love the name Men Love Mystery. Like, who comes up with this stuff? But anyway, I really like it too. It's I like this better in um, the matte finish. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Love it. And we're actually not wearing a lip liner with this one. Yeah, I wouldn't tend to wear lip liner with this one, but for those of you who do want to, I would recommend um, the Heroin Lip Liner, which came out, I think, earlier this year, maybe it was end of last year. That would be a good one. Or for those of you who have Night Moth, that's like a classic staple in my collection, I would also try that with this color. Just keep in mind, we'll make it a little bit deeper, but still really nice, I think. So the next shade that we're wearing is D for Danger, and I'm really excited about this one, mainly because out of all the lipsticks I own, out of all the MAC lipsticks I own, I would say I actually don't have a dupe for this in my collection, which is strange. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, I don't know about the other ones, but I like this one a lot. It's actually very pretty. Yeah, it's, it's very really, early. It is, it is. I mean, I think on my website it has the brick red um, with a bit of pink in it, which, I mean, a cool brick red, that makes sense. Um, trying to think, for those of you out there, Familiar with Max Craving? Maybe if you mixed it with All Fired Up, you'd get something like this, but I'm not sure about that. It's just a really unique shade. Mm -hmm. I say go get it for sure. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is I personally would not wear a liner with this color. I don't really think it needs it. Um, I don't know, Melanie, what you say? I don't think so. I think it looks good on its own. Yeah, right I now. think it stands out on its own. So that's, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next shade that we're wearing is called Royal. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm so excited about this shade. I love it. I cannot wait to go out and wear it. I love it. 
It's pretty it nice. nice. Yeah, I, I, I don't typically wear blue lipstick, but this is actually kind of nice. It has a bit of indigo to it, so it's not too, too, too blue. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I like it. And actually, for a blue shade, I find that it applies quite evenly. A lot of these, mm -hmm. um, like, funky colors can sometimes be a little bit iffy in terms of application. I, I really like this one. I'm looking forward to an evening out where I can wear it. Yeah, and again, we're not wearing a liner with this one either. Yeah, and of course, as you all know, MAC doesn't have a lip liner that matches this. Perhaps they will come out with one. Um, I was talking to a sales associate on the weekend and she said she paired it with Night Moss, which, you know, again, is more of a deep plum, so it's not a match, but if you wanted to just deepen the outline, I'm sure it could work. But I think I just wear it plain. Yeah. yeah, just line carefully or even use a clear liner with it, you should be good. So this is the last of the new shades from this collection that I have, and this one is called Antique Velvet. I really like it a lot. It looks like melted chocolate. Yeah, it's fun. It's like a matte version of, what do you say it was called, Living Legend? Is that mm, what? Actually, I would say a mixture between Living Legend and Film Noir, both oh. of which we swatched in the last video. Yeah. And matte, of course. Yeah, I like it better than that finish. Again, this is to me is a little you know more fallish or, or um, yeah, fall or wintry, but it's, it's nice. I, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I'm glad you. It seems like you're warming up to the darker tones or against so. the dark side. Yeah, yeah. And for this one, I'm not wearing liner. I no, no. don't really think anyone would need to. You might. And again, if you were going to, I would say chestnut is probably your best bet for this color. But yeah, it's gorgeous, creamy, goes on evenly. I love it. So just to give you my thoughts in general, for these colors that I've tried that are new from the collection, I'd say I'm impressed with all of them. I think the pigmentation is great on all of them. They are matte, but they're not drying, certainly not by comparison to um, the uh, retro matte finish. So yeah, they are matte, but they're creamy. They go on really nice and smooth. Really, really impressed with Royal, especially just being that type of shade of blue. It just can be so tricky with those off colors. Sometimes they're quite streaky. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I think everything I've tried on is really nice and I'm looking forward to getting a lot of use out of them this summer. So yeah, any thoughts, Melanie? Yeah, I like it, but she knows more about lipstick obviously than I do, but I think yeah, it go on nicely. They're pretty colors, except for that ashy one I don't really care for, on me at least. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're very nice colors. Yeah, I especially like, oh sorry, I like the D for Danger. That's probably my favorite out of all of them. And like the blue one was very striking too, I enjoyed that one as well. Yes, it looks like, a, actually it reminds me of a petunia. Like a, you remember like a petunia, like a vibrant petunia that's like... I don't like, know blue petunias. <laughs> I don't know purple, but anyway, whatever. Okay. Anyway, whatever. But yeah, I would say and the good thing about this collection again is it's permanent, so you know, it's not like other collections where it's like, it's gone by the time you see reviews of it, you can still get this in the store. I say definitely go and try on some shades, play around, you won't be sorry. Yeah. So thanks guys for watching us review all these lipsticks. If you want to check out her beauty blog, it's called beautypixels.ca, or that's what the address. And yeah, hopefully in the future we'll have more videos if I let her back on here. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for watching IC Melly. Don't forget to subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check me out on Instagram and her on Instagram. I'll put our user handles somewhere on this video. And I'll be back with more vids for you this summer, okay? Take care. Bye! Bye.